where am I? Nervous times. Hi, Cal. Hello there. Um, could I get a sausage and egg meal with a regular white coffee, please? Yeah, That's it, buddy. Thank you. Have a great day. And you. Excellent service. Bloody excellent. Stop peeping at me. Here we go. It's coming, it's coming. Hello, mate. Can you yeah, could I get turn five, please? Thank you very much. Have a great day. Have a great day, guys. Yes! Well, that dude had, he looked like he had 95 A-levels, you know, like uber intelligent. But you can't count, mate, I wanted five. Oh dear. Tree down. Oh, Boken Bridge. Very high tide today, guys and girls. Up over the bank. Bridge is completely covered. Good morning. Good morning. Didn't think I was gonna get here. No, I was stuck behind that. Uh, I was gonna say wanker then, but I better not, because that's swearing. You didn't come through Kingsbridge? Yes. The flood? Oh. Yes. It's like the world's sinking, Keith. <laughs> isn't it? It is. We're, we're going Abbott, underwater. Abbott and Gifford's gonna be underwater in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well underwater. I stopped and uh, took some videos anyway. Here we are, Abbott and Gifford. High tide, oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen it so high. This isn't even the river, this is the, this is a field next to the river. Completely flooded out. Wow. So yes, we are here. I told you, didn't I? Let's go and have a look. Rolling. Right, get my uh, beach head on. Three, two, one. Here we are, guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Bassman. Hello. And fishing with me today is Sir Keith. Say hello, Sir Keith. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you, sir. It's 7.30 on the dot, sir. And we are here. Beach sounds. The only mugs that are here. The only fools that are here. So, yes. If you've been depressed lately, if you've got cabin fever, you haven't been able to get out, well, we're up here today for you guys and girls, and we hope we're going to catch anything. I don't care what it is. We've got some lovely bait. We're on the slipway. We've been to the beach, and it's a bit too much for me. Keith said it's not over the top, but for me, it ain't going to be comfortable. There's a massive groundswell coming in. When this tide starts back in, wind against tide. <laughs> so later on, it'll be fine, but we're going to start here at the slipway. It's high tide. It's a 65.9 meter tide, guys. It's massive. We got a new moon, everything looks good. Keith's on board. What can go wrong, guys? Let's go fishing, Keith. Guys, we are setting up. We are praying to the fish gods. Please, just one fishy. And yes, we've decided to fish here on the slipway because it's a lot more comfortable. You know, we're getting old. We don't want to be down on that beach getting like. So, uh, well, speak for yourself, Keith. Yes, yeah, so we are here, we are rolling. 
Even the sheep are tucked on the headland. You probably just make them out there. And the lee of this awful wind. Yes, the depressed sheep. All right, Keith's just getting ready. Where are you going for, mate? A sand deal? Uh, yeah, I've got a sand deal with that. Little sand deal wrap. Short pulley rig. Short pulley rig. Here we are, a nice, uh, I've got a long pulley rig. Pulley rig, pulley rig, pulley rig. Pulley rig, pulley rig, pulley rig. Aha. And there's my bait. And I'm going with the Muppet Show today. Do, 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 do. <coughs> on the Muppet Show tonight. Here we are, all clicked in. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to rock and roll on the rock and roll. Right, well, Sir Keith and I found, well, Keith found this rig down the plim, wasn't it? Yep. yep. Down the plim, somebody was using this rig with a, was it a two-up flapper or something? Yeah. With the little double doobie doodahs. And uh, yeah, Keith's going to... Use put it for it, place fishing. He's going to use it for place fishing. So thank you very much thank whoever you left that much. behind. That's recycling, Keith. Yeah, that's it. Come. There we go. There's my little uh, crab offering. On a nice... Pulley rig. Good old baiting needle. Okay, so I may have had a bit of a slight problem here. Yeah, and a lovely cast, 100 yards, and the bloody line went in behind the spool, didn't it, on this Akios reel, which is a bit of a problem on them. So we end, I ended up getting caught round the bloody spindle and busting off the line. Yeah, not the best start, eh, hey, Mr. Akios? Yeah. Yeah, your brother's not doing very well down there. Sort yourself out. Oh, very nice, sir. Is that a pilchard? It is. Yes, mate. See what we can... See what you can winkle out. So just a little word of warning guys, if you're coming up to fish the beaches on the slipway, obviously it's uh, very safe on here, but don't get too close to the edge because we've had some big swells coming in and they've been right up here. The sea's very unpredictable after a storm. And out on the, uh, the Dartmouth race out there off start, it's going to be nasty out there. So yes, be careful. Got a nice windbreak here. Aha! The tide is ripping to the right. Looks fishy. Start point there. Yes guys, here we are and it's uh, finally nice weather for once. Well, when I say nice, it's 40 plus miles an hour winds, but northwesterly instead of southwesterly, just for a change. So that means we can get on the beach just for today and have a bit of fun. So I'm pretty lucky. I mean, who's getting, hit me up in the comments. Who's getting a bit stir crazy? It's a bit like, it's a bit like a lockdown, isn't it? The weather, a weather lockdown. It's just relentless, gale after gale after gale. No, you won't go fishing. No, you won't go fishing. 
So I'm pretty lucky. I'm, I've got no ties or anything or a, a regular nine to five job. Um, but you know, you, if you're the sort of angler that goes out once a week or once a fortnight, you must be going a bit mad because every time you get to your days off, guess what? Southwest winds again. Yay! First fish of the day! <laughs> oh, shame! Well, a bite. Shame, look at that! Let's get, where's the sun? It's behind me, isn't it? <laughs> it lassoed him! I don't care, it's not a blank, it's is a it? It's a fish, <laughs> mate! Well done! Yes, Sir Keith! Yes, the dogfish! Smile for the camera! Smile for the bass man! <laughs> Oh, bless. What, Get a back in. what a lovely fish, look. Lovely, lovely, bless. Touch him, kiss him, put him back. Put him back. That's on sardine. Sardine. Bye bye, Mr. Dog. There we go. Beautiful little crab bait, tipped off with a bit of squid. All done on the bait and needle. You've seen me do it a thousand times, so I didn't bother filming that. That's the bait. There you go, Keith's just cast in his pilchard. And look how much oil's coming off that out there. That's all from his bait. Another little safety feature, look. A couple of rocks just in case. Not much grip on here. So guys and girls, summer is coming just around the corner and this is uh, Britannia at the beach, it's been rebuilt a couple of years ago after the storms. So yeah, if you're ever out here on a day session, you can come here and get loads of really nice snacks. It's run by a local family, the Hutchins, very good friends of mine, Anita. Yes, they've got quite a nice menu, look, while I'm here. Oh, fish and chips, battered fish and chips, boys. Calamari and chips, scampi and chips, crab meat, white crab meat sandwiches. Yes, ice creams, cold drinks, hot drinks. Yes, very good reviews as well. So yeah, closed at the moment, but will soon be open. Ducking down, there's a big seal coming along. Just gone under. Right, well it had to happen that the third or fourth cast, Mr. Spider Crab. So, I have a cunning plan. That is my pop-up pulley place rig. Selling loads of those at the moment. Can't get the floats fast enough. So yeah, it's a pulley rig with a pop-up on it and a spinner blade. So let's see if the spider crabs can eat that. I don't think so. Yeah, so uh, Sir Keith has just been snipped. He's just had the snip, which is a shame. So here you go, mate. There's one of my pulley pop-up rigs. warming up isn't it mate right so um yeah we're not we're not we're not playing ball here with these crabs we're not having it so yeah the good thing about my pop-up rigs and i've i've got loads of them on the uh, on the website guys and girls is you save money you save money on bait because if you put a couple of ragworm on there and you put it out it's going to come back with the bait still on doesn't get much better than that. That is all I can do is keep sending out baits like that and eventually, eventually, I'll catch one. There we are, a nice cheeky little prawn bait there, look. Maybe for a smooth hand. 
Let's see what we can get. Mixing it up a bit, Keith. I like that. Like rag the style. Lugworm. No, we've got any lugworm. No, we've got rag, we've got squid, crab. Pilchard. Yeah. No no place yet, but we're still trying. What have you got there, Sir Keith? Have... Chicken and bacon, is it? Chicken and bacon pasta salad. Very nice. Trying to lose weight. Lose weight? You, you don't need to, mate. <laughs> Thank there's, you for that. There's nothing of you. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> yes, I made myself, well, Cheeky Girls made me, because we're on a bit of a healthy one, rice salad with pineapple and chicken and mayonnaise. Oh, dear. Yeah. I've got a bit of rocket with that, so um, I had a McDonald's this morning, so I'm going to hang on a bit and uh, join you. McDonald's? Yeah, McDonald's, yeah. Quarter past six, I was in there. Yeah. Nice and quiet. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go, Keith. I haven't blanked, man. <laughs> what a little beauty, look. <laughs> the bait's bigger than the fish. You looked him see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I looked him fair and square. Oh, yeah. Chin, yeah. Look. Little poutus minimus. Yes. I should put that, should I put that on, the, uh, on the thumbnail for the video. I'd put it on for live bait and just chuck it back in. Oh, look at that. It's a beauty, isn't it? Beautiful bait. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would, but I mean, it's the wrong time of day, isn't it? Yeah. If it was night time, that little sucker would be going out with a hook in its head, I think. But uh, no, we'll let him go, see if he goes back. I doubt if he will. But it just shows you guys, look, the pop up rig on the end of a pulley, and I've caught a fish. Yep, that's it. I haven't caught any other fish today. So at least I know, look, I haven't wasted any bait. I've used one worm to catch that fish. One worm. So if I can catch a little pout, a place is going to see that because its eyes are in the top of its head, it's going to go, oh, what's that up there? Dinner. Whack. Yes, mate. So yes, yes, the pouting. There's Britannia, open for business. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's coming there, isn't it? Definitely, yep. Yeah. Let's have a look. Ooh. Is that slap line coming in? Hey. No. Nope. Uh, Quite slack coming in there, isn't it? Wait there. Maybe I went a bit early. That was a good bite, that. He's done me there, isn't he? Oh, yeah. I should have left that, mate. He'd have been, been back for it, wouldn't he? I should have bloody left that. <sighs> Never mind. It's a, at least it's a bite. We've still got plenty of time, mate. Yeah, plenty of time. Yeah, we haven't got, uh, we haven't got a schedule, have we? We nope. just fished till we've had enough, really. But yeah, a bit disappointed with that. Can Not to worry. This is the great thing about the slipway. You can sit in the car. So I've just had a bite on the pop-up rig again. I just noticed it was slack. So something's had a go at that. We are the new rock and roll. These rods will be out this week in the shops, I would have thought. Well, halfway down the tide now, three hours till low. Oh, yeah, Keith just wound in the pop-up. Has it been touched? No, it won't get it won't get touched unless you get a bite. Whack another worm on it, Keith. So that's uh, Keith's pop-up, just come back in, untouched. Saving bait. Yes, mate, what do you reckon? Oh, Here's your yeah. fish. We had to winch it in a bit, unfortunately, over the rocks there. That is a beautiful rod <laughs> spotted ray, mate. I've been after one of those for five years, sir. Oh, dear. Well, what have you got to say fun. about that, eh? Oh, that's on sand hill. Bloody hell, Keith. What a beauty, look. Cracking. Cracking fish. Well done, mate. That's certainly made the video. What a beauty, look. Uh, haha. Do you know what, speak? Do you know what? Do you know what? Uh, she's a, it's a male. Yep. Claspers, look. Yeah. Excellent, mate. You pleased? Oh, lovely. I'm, buzz I'm buzzing for you, mate. 
Right, we need to get a nice picture for the video. All right? Against that wall. Put the scales with me. Beautiful spotted railer. I'm really jealous, Keith. I've been after one of those for ages. I'm tempted to put a sand hill on now. It's, uh... <laughs> what a lovely fish. Yeah, the only, the only grief here is obviously at low tide, you've got to winch in the fish over the rocks and anything big, you're going to struggle. Right. Three pound. Three thirteen. Three thirteen. Just yeah. under four pound, mate. Yes, here we are. There's Keith's lovely Ray. And it was up to me now to go and get this beauty back walk it up to the beach and release it. Here we are, I've walked around the, uh, walked around to the beach to let this one go because it's just too dangerous there. I don't want to risk myself or injure the fish. You beauty, well done Keith. Go on, little Ray. There you go, she sorted herself out. She's turned over. She's just out there, I can just see her. She's just flapping away. Right, going on uh, Sir Keith's spotted Ray, I've just changed over rigs to my running pat. So a long, very long running pad down to a six ounce weight. And I've actually put a bit of an upgrade on this rig to stop it, to, to stop the line spinning so much. So yeah, that's working really well, I reckon. So knowing there was a few rays about, I decided to nick Keith's sand eels and try for a ray myself. Here we are, courtesy of the cheeky girl. Very nice. Rice salad with chicken, pineapple and sweet corn. And I've got a nice bit of rocket there and a nice bit of avocado and some vine tomatoes, baby. Hell yeah. Mmm, beautiful. Here we are, low tide. I've just had to climb down because Keith got jammed in down there. But you can actually climb down. Obviously we're on the wrong spot now for landing a fish. I noticed a really small bite on the new Continental, even with that wind. Someone give it a real right thump. Well, I was just about to cast this rod Keith was like, whoa! What did it do? Just pull right over? Pull right over and give you a mega slack line. Oh, I wonder. Well, I'll, I'll give it some, be a bit patient with it. Definite, definite bite. Definite bite. Yeah. I was getting some really good distances with the wind behind me. Very nice casting. Oh, bollocks. We done. Hey. Here we go. Maybe it was that bite we had earlier. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Definitely something on there. Hey, look, what's that? Whiting? Doggy? Something rubbish, I think. Doggy. That was a little hassle, mate. Eh? Oh, it is. Blimey. Blimey, yeah, we are. <laughs> we are scraping the barrel here, sir. 
perfection in miniature. <laughs> Look at that. It's, a, <laughs> it's actually a beautiful fish, isn't it? Lovely, lovely specimen. Look at that. Just missing about 10 pounds. Yeah, I'm quite chuffed with that though, Keith. I think that's the yep. second smallest us that I've ever caught. And he's taken that hook right down. Look. Yes, he has. <laughs> Naughty dog. Yeah. Yes, it's definitely a huss. And it was a, a cracking bite. Yeah, yeah. look at the nostrils on it, though. Yeah. And it's taking my crab bait, the little devil. Right there. Can you get it out? Yeah. Oh, you're going to be able to reach the water. That's the thing. I'm going to have to climb, I think. The other thing is, is the tide's making, isn't it? It so, is. There it is. Hook there out. Go. Look, he's bit, you bit me, look. <laughs> the way he has as well. He bit me. You had 120 pound, you wouldn't let him do that. Look at it. You want to bite me, mate? <laughs> well, at least some in the start. Very strong. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah, well, that's my second fish of the day. We've been here since, what, half seven? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I've had an ickle pouting and an ickle huss. <laughs> but Sir Keith, the, the husk could have had the pouted. Yeah, Sir, Sir Keith has had a really nice spotted ray, so I'm really happy with that. I'm very jealous, mate. That's well it. done. So let's get this little chat back, shall we? Look at that. Stop, no, stop, stop. Right, we've got about an hour left. The tide's turned, coming back in. This is the best time for a ray. So I've kind of switched tactics now. Got a sandal and squid wrap. Come on. There we are guys, that's about it for me and Sir Keith today. Thanks very much for tuning in guys. Do me a favour, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button at least. Leave a comment if you would. Hit subscribe, it's just there on the controller. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Get all my alerts, hit the notification bell and all that. Yes, we've had a really cracking day, haven't we, mate? We have, yep. Right, you never know Four what species. You, you never know what you're going to get at Bee Sands. And Keith never expected to get a spotted ray today. Nope, Neither did I. It wasn't even on my list. I just, like, I thought, place, place, place. Uh, but, yeah, my tactics, tactics today were I was on the place till the tide dropped down to about two hours before low. And then I switched tactics because um, Keith had a ray on a sand deal, so I'm quick on the change, so I put sand deals on. And it's very crabby out there today. We've lost a couple of sets and we almost yeah. skipped off. Uh, but then we put the pop-up rigs on and Keith's still got one on with the same bait on it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Keep tossing it out there. And it just goes to show that you could bring, if it's really crabby, you can bring us another rod and have one of these pop-up rigs. Make one yourself, copy it. You've seen what I do. Yeah. Just copy what I do if you don't want to buy them. Uh, they're really easy to make. Uh, but yes, if you do want to buy them, head over to my website, fishingguidesdevon.co.uk forward slash shop all the rigs on there guys all the pop-up rigs the uh, running pads i'm using today pulley rigs and loads of pop-ups stinger rigs ultimate estuary you name it it's on there so thanks very much guys and we'll see you soon anything anything to add sir keith no nope, we've still got another 10 minutes or so yeah we've so... still got we've still got another bit of time but we're yeah. just doing it the wind's just dropped for a minute so we thought we'd come up and do this so yeah thanks very much for tuning in guys you've been absolutely brilliant watching all of us today and well done, Keith. Top rod. Supported Ray. I'm very jealous, mate, but Ideal. very happy with that. It's made the video. And yes, we'll be back, guys. Stay tuned and tight lines. Tight lines.